Hey guys, it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing this look, which is inspired by the new NARS campaign featuring Naomi Campbell. I did read that this is her first beauty campaign, um, so I kind of wanted to do like something in celebration of not only Black History Month, but Naomi Campbell in general. I am going to leave a list of all of the products that I use um, in the description box below, just in case you guys miss it. But yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. For today's primer, I'm using the Becca First Light Priming Filter. We're going for a luminous natural glow today. I'm also going to add a little liquid highlighter to my cheeks as well. Next, I'm warming up my foundation to my fingertips, then applying. This method is always a great one because it allows the foundation to truly blend into the skin in a more natural way. Next, I went on to brows. Naomi's brows are like a soft boy brow with like a little bit more tapering. So I feathered them upward slightly and then squared them off at the top using a brow mascara first to fill in sparse areas and a pencil to clean them up. And also to define where needed. Eventually building to this. I went in with my NARS Radiant Creamy to highlight as I normally would. Blending and then setting. For the contour, I went a little bit below my natural jawline and brought it a little further in than I usually do. I also rounded out my chin a little bit as opposed to my usual square-like jaw. For the forehead, I brought the contour a little bit more inward on the sides and then blended it all out. Next, I contoured under my bottom lip to give it a little bit more lift and a little bit more shape. The most important part to me was the nose contour. I'm gonna start right under my brow bone and follow the curve all the way down my nose in a straight line. Then I'm gonna curve it under the tip of the nose and down the other side. And then we blend it out with a clean brush. After the contourization, we're going to take the ABH Sultry Palette and we're going in with the color Twig in our crease. Focusing more towards the outer crease than anything. Next, we went into the color Noir and patted that on our outer corner. then blended it upwards into a slight wing shape. After getting the shape, I started to blend the edges of the black liner into the crease a little bit, merging the black with the first gray color we put down. With the finger, I took the color teak and pat that on the inner edge of the black color and blended it out. Also place that same color on the inner brim of the lid as well and then took a little bit of noir to slightly deepen it a little bit also on my finger I took the color cinder and ran that up the center of the lid then with the color cyborg I blended the top of the shadows slightly above the crease dabbed a little of Cyborg on the center of my lid. 
Next, with the flat brush, I brought the colors deeper into my inner corner. Then added Noir to the bottom lash line with a pencil brush and connected it to the top outer angle of the wing. And then added Cyborg to the inner bottom lash line. Next, I'm going into my NARS One Cheek Palette and mixing the matte light pink with the shimmering coral color and lightly dusting that on the outer cheek area. Then we're gonna highlight straight down the nose, on the forehead, slightly under the eye and onto the cheekbone. After we're all highlighted and glowing, we're gonna take the Kylie Lip Pencil and lightly line our lips. And over that we're using Pat McGrath's Lip Gloss and Flesh Fantasy. Add lashes and here we are. Alright guys, that about does it for me. Hopefully this video is entertaining. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video if the mood suits you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.